talking to Coach Bowman just a little while ago. I said, does he do the same thing here as he did in the 400 IM? Back off a little bit, get ready for the relay. He said, nope, I'm going to let him go on this one here tonight. If he feels off at the 150, then he can decide on whether or not to shut it down and get ready for the relay. Opening 50 will belong to Marshawn, 24.02. That's about a quarter second behind his NCAA mark. Well, you knew Bell was going to try to go out with him a little bit here. And, and there's Matt Pallett. <laughs> You're right, he was sixth. Yep, yep, yep. He, he's not going to improve much more on this 50 here. But, you know, he kept it within striking distance, believe it or not, with Marshawn. I still think Marshawn's going to win this race. 50.7 going out. That's... Uh, yeah, he's going for it. He's seven-tenths of a second ahead of his record pace. Seven-tenths. 50.7 on the way out. And he's driving out hard in this 25. Marshawn in the lead. Liam Bell of Cal right now is second. Let's watch Fallon in the middle of the pool. Fallon is up to third. Allen's gonna, he's gonna make his move in a big way right there. I don't think he has enough to cut to catch Marshawn, unless Marshawn for some reason shuts it down. Because even on that 50, Marshawn out, out split Fallon. Marshawn is a quarter second underneath his NCAA record as he turns for home, looking for his eighth. NCAA in a neutral title. 146-9-1. Here comes Marshawn. He's going to win his third event. Is it an NCAA record? Oh, yeah. Of course it is. 146-35 for Leon Marshawn. Knocks it down by 56 hundredths. And he proves yet again time is no match for his Marshawn magic. I'm going to get arguments. I know I will, and I should, because there are so many worthy swimmers out there. But that's the greatest collegiate swimmer in history. And he's only a junior, and I'm saying that. I, I just, he, he never ceases to amaze.